hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we're gonna add the jumping and crouch to our player all right for that open up the player controller and write down below let's create a header by the name of jump and crouch make sure they are in double quotes then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a public float by the name of crouch speed it will be equals to 2.5 then after that we're going to create another float by the name of jump speed uh, actually jump height it will be 1 then we will create another float by the name of crouch height let's set it to 0 by default and then the stand height so create a float for it by the name of stand height it will be 2 then if we scroll down right after the handle camera movement we will create another method by the name of handle jump all right in this handle jump what we're gonna do we're gonna first of all check that if the player is grounded and not in crouch not crouching actually or you can say not sitting on the ground then in that case we will only jump so actually we need to create a ace crouching boolean as well for that just scroll up and write down below create a public pool by the name of ace crouching and set it to false by default Alright, then right here we're gonna say if the player is not crouching. If this is the case, then what we're gonna do? We're gonna jump. So for that we will say velocity dot y equals to mathf dot square root. Let's pass jump height right here, multiply that by minus two and multiply that by gravity. Alright that is all we have to do for jumping and now for the crouch we're gonna say public void name this as handle jump all right here first of all we will set the is crouching to the is crouching not then we're gonna say character controller dot height equals to if this means if the player is crouching then the crouch height will be zero and else if the player is not crouching then the character controller height will be equals to the stand height all right then after this we will say character controller dot radius when the player is crouching it should be if the player is crouching it should be 0 0.2 else it should be 0 0.5 or you can set it to 0 0.4 if you want all right once we have this then right here in the player movement all right when the player is in crouch we don't want the player's uh, movement speed to be speed we want it to be the crouch speed which is 2.5 all right so for that we need to do some changes so we will say uh, float current speed equals to if the player is crouching then it will be the crouch speed else it will be the speed all right that is it then in the update now let's jump using the space button and crouch using the C button so for that right down below we will say if input dot get key down and that key is space then what we're gonna do we're gonna call the handle jump method 
all right then for the crouch we're gonna say if input dot get key down and that key is the c key then we're gonna call the handle what we name it right here okay we didn't name it it should be handle crouch all right and right here type handle crouch as well that is it if we get back right here click on this player controller right here as you can see the stand height is 2 and right here the player height is 2 so make sure that the stand height and the height of the character controller is the same all right and once you do that now let's go ahead and play the game when we play it here it is now if we jump using the space button as you can see the player jumps and moves down to the ground as well and if we press the c key as you can see the player can crouch as well and go in here as well as you can see now we can stand up sit down stand up sit down stand up sit down and when we are uh, sitting as you can see the player can't jump but when we stand up and jump we can jump all right so our player controller is set up all right with this done let's end this video right here